welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a November wrap-up video for all the books I read in November. And yeah, I just set my Christmas tree up a few hours ago and I thought I'd try and like get a nice Christmassy shot. But I don't know how much it's working and how much it's not. So yeah. It's fine, it's fine, we're going with it. So in November, in total, I read seven books, which was my goal for November, so I did amazing. <laughs> it would have been nice to exceed my goal. Sorry, let me just get my good reads up. It would have been nice to exceed my goal, but I am very happy that, you know, I read seven books, because I haven't read that in a while. I've been pretty consistent with reading like five books a month, and yeah, I'm very, very, very happy with my progress. So in total, I'm up to 70 books for this year out of 80. So I got 10 books to go for December, which I don't know if we can do, but I'm trying to, you know, have faith in myself and, you know, keep going with it. But yeah, in terms of the statistics, I read three books on my Kindle, one book on my library app, two physical books, and I listened to one audiobook. So firstly, the audiobook I finished was Knee Deep in Life by Laura Belbin. So this was a non-fiction book and wow, it was a good one. I rated it five stars. It wasn't a question as I finished it, I straight away went, that was a five star read. I actually read this book in like two and a half days, which was really quick for me, um, or at least listened to it in like a really quick way. I just really enjoyed her writing, it was very engaging, it was very realistic. She definitely brought out issues that, you know, needs to be talked about more, like postnatal depression, parenting expectations, and you know, a lot more. I can't really relate to this book in terms of the life stage I'm in right now and the life stage this book talks about. So this book was more about having kids, parenting, you know, being like grown up adults taking care of other human beings. And that is not where I'm at right now. I've only got myself to take care of and I'm still learning how to do adulting. So obviously I'm not in that life stage, but sh Laura has given some very useful tips that I am gonna keep in mind for, you know, the future. And yeah, as I said, her writing was just so engaging. I, I loved listening to it and it was just really chatty and friendly and yeah i just loved it okay so the books i wrote on my kindle the first one was think outside the boss by olivia hale 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 so i rated this four stars and this was this was a bit of a christmasy book actually <laughs> well it had like christmas in it and like snow in new york and that just made me, you know, get into like the Christmassy mood. But yeah, it was one of those kind of like forbidden romance where like an employee goes for the boss and stuff like that. But it had like lots of twists to it and it was just engaging. Obviously it was a romance story, so happy ending. And yeah, I just, it was a quick read, it was an easy read, and it was just what I needed, you know, a quick easy romance novel just to pipe up my reading and also just enjoy it. As I said, it was four stars. Would I give it more looking back? No, I think it was four stars, but it was like a good four stars, not like to the lower end. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it without like spoiling it because it is like a shorter story than, you know, like the physical books I read. Next on my Kindle, I read Praise by Sarah Kate. So this <laughs> was a bit of a um, sexy novel. I don't know why I got into it. 
it just happened like it came up on my I don't even know where it came up I think I got it for free through like this email subscription service I have so there's this thing called book drop I think it's called book drop but I'll, I'll leave the link down below for it and basically they send you emails every is it every day every few days whenever there's like reduced books or books for free for kindle downloads that is and yeah i just saw it and again it said a bit of like forbidden romance so i was just like yeah let's go let's go i'm in the romance forbidden romance mood and i downloaded it i started it and <laughs> it straight away went into a bit of a frisky part and it was okay um i was fine with it and then the storyline like got so much so good that i just like went with it and yeah i rated it five stars in the end i definitely recommend if you want something sexy and forbidden romance the last book i read on my kindle was the protector by susan stoker so i rated this three stars which <laughs> it's a bit disappointing it started off really well and then the end just got a bit too cliche for me so there was a girl who had a stalker and she was running away from it and she gets into this storm but finds this little cottage and like stays there for a while and there's also this ex-soldier who um who like crosses paths with her and he has his like tree cutting down business with his friends or like moving trees lumberjacks or something along those lines i never actually right that's it i'm googling what lumberjacks is because I have no idea. Um, especially in North America, a person who fells trees, cuts them into logs, or transports them to a sawmill. Okay, that's basically what I thought. Tree cutter, tree cutter guy. Yeah, they had um, this. Lum they have this lumberjack business with his friends, and um, yeah, that's that's the story. I can't explain it because I keep wanting to give things away and I don't want to ruin the story for people who want to read it. But yeah, again, um, I recommend it's a quick read. A bit deeper than the ones I mentioned before, but it's, it's an okay read. And then on my library app, I read Vicious by V.E. Schwab. So this book, <laughs> I rated four stars. At the start, I really, like, couldn't get into it. And then by, like, the middle, it picked up. And then by the end, I was, like, completely hooked. And, yeah, I'm definitely gonna read... I think there's a second book to it. Is there a second book? Yeah, I don't know if it's just a second book or a third as well, but there's, like, more books in, in, in like, the Vicious book series. I definitely want to carry on reading because I did enjoy it and I am curious to see, you know, like what happens next because it turned out very interesting, the ending. It was also like something kind of different for me. Like I've been reading a lot of romance novels recently and obviously this was not that. I think it was like, would you say it's sci-fi? I feel like you call it sci-fi or is it fantasy i don't think it's fantasy i think it's more sci-fi but yeah it was something different and i enjoyed it i am very sorry i had to move a bit lower because i i was like crouching and um my legs were just hurting me so i just have to kneel down but hey you still got some of the curtain straight okay lastly we have two books um what did i write the first one? Oh yeah i see okay lastly we have two physical books ooh, ooh. okay so first i read twisted games ooh. twisted games sorry it's too shiny 
by Anna Huang. So this is the second book in the Twisted series. So Twisted Love was the first one and then this is the second one. And I rated it four stars. It was good. It was another romance novel. It also had a bit of forbidden love in it, which I definitely enjoyed. I don't actually know why I would say, you know, why it wasn't good. It's not that it wasn't good. It's just, hmm. It was a bit thick and I did feel like no, it wasn't dragon. Was it dragon? I don't know. It did take place over like a longer period of time than like, you know, like a few days, few months, few weeks. It took like years, like the actual story took like years, which I don't know. I, I guess I liked, I don't even know what I didn't like about it, but I guess I just didn't have all those feels that I'm really looking for in a five-star book. Like, it was nice and all, but it didn't make me, like, truly, deeply feel anything. And, oh gosh, that sounds, that sounds a bit harsh, but no, it is a good book. It's great writing, but yeah, I was just missing something and I can't, like, pinpoint it other than it didn't give me the feels. And the last book I read this this year and this month is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden and wow. <laughs> so this is the last book I read in November. I finished it pretty recently and I rated it five stars and I already started the second book to it, The Housemaid Secret, because this was just so good. So this is like a mystery thriller kind of book. And I think I already read you the blurb at one point um, in like another video, so I won't go into that. But yeah, it definitely, I think it lives up to the hype. It's it's one of those really hyped up books and I actually think it lives up to the hype because it took so many twists and turns and I am here for it. I was trying to guess like what was going to happen all the way through and even when I like kind of got it right, I did not. <laughs> so definitely recommend, really great read and I'm I'm a bit way through Housemaid The Housemaid Secret is it called? Um yeah the second book and I'm loving that as well so I recommend that too. Oh I forgot to update you on my A to Z reading challenge. So I read a book for K, Knee Deep in Life, and then I read Vicious for V. So I don't know if that's all I had left for like, I don't know if there were any other letters, but the last two letters remaining now are X, which I was supposed to read the book called X for and never got to it, so for December maybe, and Z, which I'm currently listening to Zoo Station as an audiobook. It's a book around like um, a journal, a British journalist in um, Nazi Germany. And yeah, it's been really interesting so far, but <laughs> as I was reading all, you know, the books, I didn't really listen to it as much as, you know, I should have. So that's another thing to finish in December. And then that's it those two are left and then hopefully hopefully we can get this out of the way and and get this challenge completed by the end of the year so that is it for my november reads i really hope you enjoyed give it a like subscribe comment down below what you want to see more of and see you next time